Okay, let's do this. Uh, a disclaimer, this is not an assignment that I designed, but I am going to try to make it as um, easy as possible for you to do this assignment because this is just part one of the week and there's another assignment due after this. And this is a pretty robust assignment, so let's get going. Basically, in summary, you're going to collect 30 images. Now, the assignment creator wants you to find found objects, and this is in your area of emphasis, right? Um, found objects, remixes, and then your own choice. So if you're in interior design, you're going to have to find interior designs that use found objects. If you're in um, and, and, and interior designs that use remixes, and then your choice of interior design images, okay? And the same for illustration, graphic design. If you're art education, just pick one. Um, animation, game arts, all right? So you're going to have 30 images, 10 in each category that you're going to have to collect, all right? Now, you're then going to organize those onto a mood board, and this is pretty easy, luckily, but you're going to, I'm going to show you how to create a Canva account, place them on a mood board, do a screenshot, and then you're going to throw them into a Word document along with one other image that has a citation, okay? And you're going to do an analysis. So let's get started. Now, you can obviously do an image search for interior designs that use Remix, but my um, tip for you is to create a Pinterest account. All right, so this is my Pinterest account, and you can see I've got a bunch of art-related stuff in here. And uh, what I've done is, if this was you, if I was in the class, I'd be like, okay, i got to do this pretty robust assignment. Um, and let's see here. Um, I am going to create a, a folder called Seminar. Okay, so you create a folder and you just click the add button over here and you create create a board, right? Actually a board, not a folder, sorry. So you create a board and I've already done that seminar. Now, in that board, you're going to create, the way that you uh, um, organize boards is in sections. Now I've gone ahead and I've created game art, interior design, graphic design illustration, and fashion, all right? For each one, I created a section. I said, create a section called Game Art Personal Choice, Game Art Remix, Game Art Found Object. Create a, a section called Interior Design Personal Choice, Interior Design Remix, Interior Design Found Object, etc. So you're only going to have three sections, right? Okay, you're going to create those sections. So then what do you do? You're going to do Explore, and you're going to say um, Graphic Design Remix. All right. And it's going to show you a bunch of graphic design. And Remix, you know, I'm not going to go into the definition of Remix. It's just basically um, putting two things together that don't initially look like they belong together from two different eras or two different styles or whatever. You could do graphic design found object. Right? And graphic design and illustration I'm bunching together. All right. So... Let's say um, I like this image. Now I can click on this image and I can save it if I want to look at it. And I hit save and no, notice this little drop down over here. It's going to prompt me. It's going to say, well, where do you want to save it? And I say, I want to save it in seminar and I want to save it in graphic design illustration, found objects, save. Boom. I'm done. All right. You can see how fast this goes. I tried doing this on a Google search just without using Pinterest, and it was um, pretty daunting. Okay, you can you can actually just hit this here, but make sure you're going to the right place, right? Seminar, seminar, graphic design illustration, found objects. Did it save it? Okay, it saved it. So I'm going to go through and do that, right? <clears throat> graphic design remix, what was it? And remix different, you know, styles, different things. Uh, I think I, I might have, I thought I saved this one. This was kind of interesting. This is remixing. It's like using fingerprints to create typography. I'm going to call that a remix. Or here you have, this is a good one. This is uh, kind of a Victorian looking mm, kind of dress, but with, um, with uh, a more modern electrical kind of uh, digital uh, effect. So anyway, I'm going to save that one under maybe fashion. Right, this is more fashion. I don't know. Did I, did we call this graphic design? I'm not sure where we're at right now. But anyway, I'm gonna create it. I'm gonna put it in seminar. 
and I'm going to put this in fashion remix. You're only going to do um, three, right? Now, in, in mine, since I'm doing the entire class, you can see, uh, let me go back. You can see I'm doing, I've got like nine boards in here. Now, you are welcome to use my images. So if you're, if you're in game art and you want to do remix, and you're like, oh, God, hey, Prentice has six images. Feel free to go in there. You're assuming that I'm do picking the right ones, right? Uh, and, you know, this assignment, we're going to be doing it all the way to the end in different variations. So, I mean, things like masks are going to be a good choice. Uh, things like environments may be a little bit more difficult. But um, when I think about remix, I think about, you know, different kinds of like, you know, animal and human parts or... I don't know, blocks and, and this kind of architecture, you know, et cetera. So you have to be able to um, justify your pick. But feel free to save mine. I've already done a lot of this work for you. So uh, I don't have many in, interior, in personal choice, but, you know, here's like three in graphic design remix, fashion remix. I've got 12 pins. Um, so feel free to use those. All right. Because you're going to want 30 of these. Now, Next, you're going to want to put these on a mood board. Now, I don't think that uh, I don't think that you can take these images and just drag them over into Canva. So, I would suggest because remember, the next thing we have to do is create three mood boards. All right, one's going to be called Found Objects, one's going to be called Remixes, and one's going to be called Your Choice. All right, Canva. So the first thing you want to do is go to Canva. This is really easy. You go to Canva, you create an account, you use your email, right? I'm already logged in. And uh, I, look, you might be able to figure out a better way to do it than me, but I just picked whiteboard and I've got a whiteboard and now I want to drag images onto there, but I need to have some images to drag on there. So I believe I've created a folder on my desktop. I'm going to have to go over to Pinterest and I believe I'm going to have to drag these over. Okay. Two. Let's just drag. We'll drag a few of these over. I don't think that I have to um, open them up to drag them. Let me just check the size and make sure that these are big enough. This should open up in preview or Photoshop or something. Let's see. Let's just double check the size so that we're not dragging in thumbnails um, into our mood boards. Image size. That's pretty small. It might work for what we're doing. Okay. But let's just compare something. Let's go over to Pinterest again and let's pick this one. And then let's drag this over. So we can double check. I believe it's going to be the same image size. A little bit bigger. So if you want bigger images, this is then what I would do. All right. Let's get rid of Photoshop here. So I would open up each image and drag over the larger, the larger version of it. That way you have a higher quality um, resolution image now one thing while I'm doing this you are going to want to at least get one image that has um, a good citation All right so you notice none of these have citations 
So you're going to want one. That's why I would go to, you know, Museum of Modern Art or something. Uh, what was this one? Mm. Let me see if I can find one. Hold on. All right. So one of the hardest things, and we're going to put this whiteboard together, but I just wanted to make a note here. One of the hardest things is you're going to have to have at least one image from your collection that has a citation. And for example, I just looked on fashion and it was very hard to find a citation. Sure, you could find Shutterstock. Sure, you could find Etsy or something. But I, I have here in my interior design, for example, I made sure that I got one from the Museum of Modern Art. So I'm going to be, be doing, you know, this. This is my interior design found object, Louise Nevelson. And I have my um, citation already here. This is what you need for your final part of this assignment when you're going to do your analysis. If you do not have a citation, you will lose points. You can't just say image from the magazine or image from the web or Etsy or Shutterstock or find something on Instagram. You're going to need to look for at least one image in your 30 that's from a museum or from uh, uh, you know a, a well-known location, and I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna copy that. It's always good to have um, a. It's always good to have um, something available uh, where you can make your notes. I'm gonna drag that over just so I have it for this. Now, where were we? Sorry, Canva. Create a whiteboard. Here's your whiteboard. If you look at, you know, read the instructions, but they want you to organize these um, in a way where the one that you like, the one that you think is the most important, the one that most interests you um, is, let's see if we can do this in a batch, um, is the biggest. All right. So, and I think they want 10, right? So, this is a choker dress. Here's this one. I'm going to say this one's my least favorite. This one, I kind of like this one. I kind of like this one. I love this one. This one's all right. This one's okay. And I don't know. I don't think I want, we want any overlapping, right? So there we go. So there's my mood board. Mine only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There would have to be three more. So what do I do? I create a screenshot. Now, I create a screenshot on the Mac using Command-Shift-4. But what it does is I make a selection of the thing I want to screenshot. Okay. And it brings it up over here. And I'm going to drag that over into my folder. All right, so organization is gonna be key. So let's jump ahead. Let's imagine that you've done this whiteboard for um, Remix and you've done a whiteboard for Found Object and you've done a whiteboard for your choice. What do you do then? That's when you go over to your Word doc. All right, I'm gonna take that down and you take your mood board, right? And you put it on here. Now, you're going to have three mood boards. Let's just duplicate this and pretend there's, there's three of them. So let's say one's my remix. One's my found object. One is my personal choice. All right. Presentation is important, right? Label, personal choice. Label, found object. Label, remix. And now the last thing I'm going to do is I have to do an analysis. So this is, again, this is all due midweek. You've got to collect 30 images in three different categories, put them in three different mood boards, organize them, put those mood boards into a PDF, label them, and then you've got to do analysis of one image. 
bring that image over. Let's pretend this one is, you know, fashion related. And, and I'm going to have my citation over here. All right. And this is where you're going to say who, what, why, where, when, right? You do the analysis, All right? Do, does this, is this artist using repetition, color? How unusual it is? Why is it a, you know, why is it found object? What's the background of this particular artist? Why are you attracted to it? Then you're going to save this, okay? Label it, save it, export it as a PDF. All right? And you're going to post it by Wednesday to the classroom area.